hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a review of the official 2021 annual uh, with Whitaker. You know, because uh, hopefully, keyword hopefully, this review shouldn't get any hit. Because um, uh, if you know anything about the Doctor Who fan base, it's pretty much imploded in on itself. Uh, all because of women. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, a bit... Bit weird, bit extreme, really. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Yeah, I kind of did a Matt Smith sort of fiftieth anniversary uh, annual review latter end of last year, and I got this uh, for Christmas. So I thought, what the hell, review this? This might be potentially my first review of twenty twenty one, ironically, and um, that is if. I didn't upload those two Dalek reviews, action figure reviews of the uh, Dalek and Axis Dalek thing and the, uh, that and the, uh, the other one, the, uh, Pepe Jungle of Mecha Mechanus, uh, Dalek thing. So, yeah, if they, if they weren't uploaded when I think they were, then this might be the first one. It might not be, but anyway, yeah. The cover's really nice. I really like it myself. It's got Wicker in the, uh, on the, on the front. Uh, Tosin Cole, Mandip Gill, and Bradley Walsh, uh, Graham, Ryan, and Yaz, and the 13th Doctor annual there. Uh, the Doctor Who logo, this one, that's really grown on me a lot um, over the year, over the years uh, that work has been running, or been the, the Doctor. And then you've got Doctor Who, and you've got the uh, Whitaker there as well. And then you've got uh, to be expected, the contents page, and I only say that because me being the foolish fool that I am, I um, remember opening this on Christmas Day, flicking through it, and uh, worrying all of a sudden that there was no contents page, which is a really weird thing to say out loud. Um, honestly, I'd say this is a really slick design of a, of a book. I'm not going to go through all of it, but... Uh, overall presentation is yes, yeah, slick is probably the word I'd use. You know, it's it's got quite a bit of like text, like I'd say more than I ever expected. Honestly, I mean, I feel like this is more gearing towards maybe sort of that age of like ten to about thirteen, fourteen year olds sort of age. You know, with the amount of text. Yeah, sure, it's in big. Big white writing, which is good, because I'll be honest, that makes it easier for me to read. Oh, the dregs. How are there not a five-inch uh, action figure character options? Get on that. The dregs, man. The dregs. It'd be great. Uh, even if, yeah, often 55 isn't great. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hopefully this video doesn't get a lot of hate, but I'm just a bit worried because, you know, as I said earlier... The Doctor Who fan base has imploded in on itself, and the reason why I'm even mentioning it is because obviously this is a Whitaker piece of merchandise, as it were, and uh, and that, and also the fact that either way, if I say negative things about this or, or trans constructive criticisms about this book, that I'm worried that people will rip me a new asshole. Uh, likewise, if I flick through it and mention about like the dregs like I just did and mention about Orphan 55 and then people are like oh my god you didn't like that episode oh my god you hate women or vice versa oh my god you love women ah, what kind of ridiculous thing is this it's organism ah, she only got the job because she knew Chibnall but anyway um, on a more positive note there are little bits which you know uh, it's written as though the doctor is speaking to the uh, to the reader, which I I don't know why, but even as a twenty two year old, I really like, um, and that and be more doctor. And then I flipped through and looked at mainly just them, this one time, and I was just like, yes, these are cool, these are awesome. Uh, you've obviously got your uh, standard sort of activity things of like this thing, the code thing, I guess, as well as like a dot uh, coloring thing. Uh, some a word search and that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's weird. Uh, well, actually, I guess this will have released... By the time this released, Captain Jack will have been in Fugitive of the Jadoon and um, maybe even Re Revolution, Resolution, whichever one. Uh, so, yeah, because there's, there's a bit on Jack and I thought, wait, that's a bit weird. Uh, 
uh, and that, and then a shard again. Character options, get on it, please. That would be amazing. Look at him; he just looks like an action figure. And the new Cyber Boys, please. Can we get some action figures? Ruth, the Master, the Time Lord, Cyber Time Lord dudes. Um, yeah. The main reason why, I'll be honest, I actually wanted this book was because of the Time Lord Victorious tie-in. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and that, so, yeah, spoiler warning for that, like, yeah, and then you've got your answers to your maze and your quizzes and spot the difference things and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't even got round to reading the, the Time Lord Victorious sort of thing, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, I, I like this, it's really stylized and, uh, are stylish and slick, and then you've got the Chagascus, uh, which kind of looks like a cross between a Slovene and a, the werewolf sort of thing, you know, from old Doctor Who, which I can't believe I just referred to Russell T. Davis stuff as old Doctor Who. My god, I feel really old and a bit depressed now. Uh, but yeah, I, I think there's probably a, a cool, like, bit of stuff there you know it's just nice to have this information on on paper sometimes you know about like the baddies like the dregs and and the jadoon captain sort of character or or stuff about um uh, a shard and that you know um and that and it's just nice if you're a really big fan of the wicker era to have these sort of big glossy or, or not glossy but i guess matte uh sort of pictures and that of these characters that uh, hopefully you like as a fan of this era of the show um, and obviously spoiler alert but if you're not a fan of this era of the show and or particularly Jodie Whittaker get out their concept but you don't have to buy this or even complain about it online um, you, you know who you are if you did that but uh, yeah and then there's this nice thing with the master and the doctor and then past masters and that as well I like that the um the uh annuals sort of always try and and dig up a bit of the past of doctor who as well like they're always very contemporary to whatever era that they're released the year that they're released in obviously but they also uh, uh, the the nice thing with doctor who is that it can be like oh yeah but actually there's a lot of past stuff i mean the exception to the rule being the obviously 50th anniversary one but that's because that was the big celebratory annual whereas this one isn't but it's it's the one it's i think the second wicker one so so i've got uh the the, the year before the 2021 or the 2019 one to get i think maybe there's three wicker um annuals i don't know but if you know the answer to how many wicker jody wicker's 13th doctor um uh, annuals there are please do comment below <laughs> your your, uh, your answer um or send it by letter um because yeah i don't i don't know how many there are but yeah um uh, as for this one i like it i think the the sort of it it feels very series 12 which is weird because it feels very um not only stylish but like just sort of i don't know a bit more slicker a bit more for lack of a better term, grown up. I don't know. It's it's yeah. Again, it, it is a bit weird because I remember some of the David Tennant sort of ones and the Matt Smith ones in retrospect uh, were a lot more aimed at at kids, I guess, or younger kids than sort of twelve to or, or ten to to sort of thirteen, fourteen. I'd say uh, this one is aimed at uh, personally, um, but then. The, but then it strikes a weird balance because then there are some activities that a younger person might like, but then also they might get a bit more value when they read, uh, start reading a bit better and, 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 and look back on it, maybe, you know. So it's an odd one, really, uh, this one. Uh, not as in a bad, but just a bit a bit peculiar. There's a little bit for everyone, really, I think. Um, there's, struck, there's, there's struck a nice balance between that, I think, or just about... Um, because as I say, I think uh, a weird memory I have of the the Tennant and Smith one, the one Matt Smith one I got um, in my collection, as it were, is um, I feel like they really did skew towards really younger kids, 
kids, I think. Uh, but yeah, that being said, um, thanks for watching. Please do comment, rate and subscribe.